Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a split screen effect between two different video clips. And then I'm going to show you how to do a multiple split screen effect using many videos. So let's start off with a standard two video split screen effect. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're under your inspector view. And then secondly, the project settings I'm using, it is for a 1080p project. And so the first way we can actually do this split screen is by using the transform property. So all you have to do is go down here to position X and then type in 960, which is half of 1920. So it'll go ahead and crop it to the right, exactly halfway to this 1080p project file. And then if you wanted to crop to the left, all you have to do is type in negative 960 and now it's cropped to the left. So that's how we would do that with transform. And the other way you can do that is to use the cropping feature. So all you have to do is double click on this and there's more properties here. If you want to crop to the left, type in 960 to the left. And then if you want to crop to the right, type in 960 to the right. So very easy to do. And then obviously if you wanted to do this manually, you could do that as well. So let's say for example, you have an instance where whenever you did the crop, it didn't really exactly crop where you wanted to. So this is where you're going to have to use both the cropping and the transform feature. So in this case, I want to crop it a little bit to the left. And then I want to move this over further to the left. So that's actually the view that I want for the split screen. And this is primarily for the top video clip because on the bottom video clip, since it is underneath this one, it's a lot easier for you to move things around. And without having to adjust anything else, really, you just move it left to right and you're good. So now let's go ahead and look at our quick split screen. As you can see here, I have one video on the left, one video on the right. And there we got our very first split screen. And now if you also want to make this whole split screen line, you know, it's very defined and it's sharp. You can make this a little softer as well. So the way in which you can do that is you would go to your top clip. And under cropping, you could adjust the softness. So it has no softness right now. But if you increase the softness, you get kind of like this feathering effect. So if we go ahead and go full screen. You see right there. So you could use this very uh, soft split screen look as well. If that's better for you. So it kind of fades in from one to another. And that's the very first way in which you could do very simple split screen effects quickly. And so let's now move over to a little bit more advanced version of this. And so on this second split screen method, we're still going to be comparing these two clips. However, it's going to look different from the standard square split screen. So what we're going to do is go down here to our color tab, make sure that our top video clip is selected. Then we're going to zoom out a little bit to about 25%. Then go down here to window. Then we're going to choose curve. And what we're doing now here is creating a diagonal split screen. I'm going to add a line here. Here is where I want the diagonal split screen. I'm going to connect the dots. And what you notice now here on our node view, we do have our split screen, but we don't see the clip underneath it. So the way we should change that is we're going to go ahead and right click on our mouse, choose add alpha output. And there's going to be an alpha output here, but now we need to connect these two things. And now we have a diagonal split screen. Go down here. Let's go ahead and blow that up. So it looks a lot different than the normal square split screen. And at the same time, we can also soften this diagonal line just like we did previously. Go down to color. There's a soft value right here. You can increase that. And now we have a diagonal split screen with a soft line separating it. And there's some other things you can do here as well. We can add different shapes. So this one isn't necessarily a split screen per se, but it does give a different look. Kind of reminds me of Looney Tunes. That's pretty fun. And then we have one more option here that I like to play with. We have this linear. So this one allows you to be way more creative in your split screen shapes so we'll go here yeah <laughs> you can have a lot of fun with this 
And there are two other options here. There's a line and there's also gradient as well. You could pretty much mix all these things together and get super crazy with it. But that's how you would add a little bit more creativity to your split screens. So now let's move over to the last type of split screens, which involves more than two videos. For all your email management needs, check out Aweber, the preferred choice news at geekoutdoors.com. Sign up today and get a 30 day free trial. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now let's take a look and see how we can do multiple split screens that involve more than two videos. So in this case, I have four different video clips. Now you can do this just very similar to how you did it before, where you could adjust the transform values or cropping, or you can use a free transform feature by going to the clip and choosing the transform overlay. And here you could actually adjust the size, move it around. So that's one way to do that. But I think the easiest way to do that is to simply decrease the size of these clips by 50%. And all you have to do is move them around where you want. So the easiest way to do that is go to your zoom property, type in 0.5, which would be 50% of the original size. And there you go. And you would do the same thing to all these other clips. And you can do this manually, but the easiest way to do it is just to copy and paste the attributes. And all you have to do is right click on the clip that you want to copy the attributes from, choose copy. And then for these other clips, just hold control and select each one of them. And then right click on your mouse, paste attributes, make sure video attributes is chosen. And now all of your clips have been resized to 50% of their original size. And all you have to do is just move these around, go back to the top clip, turn on your transform overlay, and just move things around. So this is a manual process, but I'm just showing you the very quick and easy way. If you already know the dimensions that you want, you could adjust it here. So we'll just go ahead and move our various clips where we want. So once that's done, we'll go ahead and check out our multiple split screens. Now we have four different clips running at the same time. And you could also turn some of these off if you want. You don't necessarily have to have all these clips on. So that is how you would actually do split screens in DaVinci Resolve from the very simple two video split screens to a little bit more creative split screens. And then finally to this multiple split screen that we have here. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do split screens, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorial tips and tricks, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.